Okay, last problem we're gonna do tonight says, how many cells are present after one hour? So this is pretty easy, right? We have y equals 10 to the sixth times e raised to the 0 0.462098. And we wanna know after one hour. So like the easy way to do it, oops. The easy way to do it is to pull up Desmos off to the side and type in 10 to the sixth times e exponential number e raised to the 0 0.462098 times 1 oops times stop it I gotta get up there parentheses times 1 and I should have 1.587 times 10 to the sixth cells. So if I move my decimal place, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's the right answer. Yay. So the other way to do this, which I think is a better way to do it, and I think we're going to have to do it later anyway, is to convert from exponential form into um, our other form, our standard form. And that's not too hard to do, right? We just evaluate um, e to the 0 0.462098 power, which is what we just did and just not multiply it with the 10 to the 6, and you would have gotten this 1.587 number. You would have gotten in standard exponential form y equals a sub 0, which is 10 to the 6th, times my b value, which is 1.587 um, to the t. And this 1.567 would be how many are there after one hour. Times 10 to the 6th. So the population of yeast cells will double every 1.5 hours. So let's check. So let's make this 1.5 hours on Desmos. And I'm gonna see if that number, see if I can cut and paste. I don't know how to cut and paste this. Oops, stop it. So I'm gonna cut and paste this or copy this. I'm gonna paste it here. Hmm, I'm gonna do it. All right, well, I wanna take um, that number and divide it by 1.5 to see if it was my original number. So I don't think I can just type divide by. I could do 199999, nine, 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 nine. how many nines is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, point six three eight 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 and divide it by 1.5 and do I get my original number it doesn't look like it but it says it's true will it double every 1.5 hours so after one hour I have this number and after 1.5 hours I'll just type it in there so 10 to the sixth times e raised to the parentheses 0 0.462098 times 1.5. So that's how much it would have after 1.5 hours. Okay, so then does it double every 1.5 hours? Oh, so I need to go actually 2.5, because I need it to be 1.5 hours longer. And so 1.5 hours after one hour is 2.5. And now I can see that, uh, what is that? 3,174,801 is exactly double of 1,587,400. So my mistake was I was putting in 1.5 in Desmos there. Um, I don't want to check the use population at 1.5 hours. I want to check at 1.5 hours after one hour, which means I need to check it at hour 2.5. Or if I checked it at hour 1.5 hours after 2.5 would be checking it after at hour 4, and it should be double the 317 or 3,174,000, and it is double. It's that. And I could check it 1.5 hours after that, which would be 5.5, and the bottom should be double the top, and it is. So this Cherie, another member of our lab, looks at her notebook and says, I don't see what she says. She says, 
but the formula is wrong. That her calculations predict the number of yeast cells is given by this function. Should I be worried about Cherie's remarks? Well, I'm going to test Cherie's remarks to see if she's correct or not. And to test them, I'm just going to input it in 10 to the sixth power. Um, and that's going to be multiplied with parentheses 1.947734. Close that parentheses and raise that to the 0 0.6931475. And then uh, to the first power and see if it matches. And it does match. And then if we try, uh, we know it should double after 1 1.4, 1 1.5 hours. So we could check at 2.5 hours. And I'm going to put a multiplication sign in there, 2.5 hours. And we do get double our original value. We get double this value. Um, so yeah, we're not worried. Uh, the two formulas are identical. And then Anja says something else. Anja says that um, this is how many yeast cells there will be after four hours. So let's check Anja. Let's put four into our formula that we know works. That's how many yeast cells should be there. And that's different. Um, than Anya. So I should be worried about Anya's, yes. And all of Anya's measurements are lower than the estimated formula. My formula estimates the yeast population will be, after four hours, 6,349,600 uh, in a fraction of a yeast cell. And Anya's says it's significantly lower than that. And if we test her at six hours, and I plug six into my formula, we find that she has significantly fewer yeast cells than I have. So yes, I should be worried about that. All right, that's it for the homework tonight. See you in class tomorrow. We'll talk about the piano.